Hey guys, this is me and George. Um, I'm sharing with George this morning an exercise I developed decades ago uh, that is a particularly useful and powerful exercise. The problem is it's difficult. So it, it tends to not go over well with Q players, but it's a wonderful exercise. So we're going to define the premise, and then George and I are going to take a crack at a few openings. Okay, so we start with the premise. Uh, premise is, at the end of the first eight moves, we're going to have one black, one white in each corner. So we have to play an unfinished corner, which means someone needs to play on the side. We're not going to have a finished corner. That's one thing about the 4 4 and the 3 3, is it finishes the corner in one move, which is what made the 4 4 so famous. It's like we finish it in one move, get on with the rest of the game. So, uh, for instance, um, so let's, let's enact this. Uh, boom, boom, boom. White's going to play over here anywhere he wants in another corner. Um, black cannot play here because it has to be one black one white we can't start this because we have the first eight are set in stone okay white's not allowed to play here because that's the same as the upper right and you can't repeat the things so white's going to play here a normal approach move black has to play in the bottom left to maintain the one-on-one -on -one. He's going to choose uh, this Joseki, which we don't see too often, which leaves white. Can't play that one. That's the same as the upper right. He can play this one. Okay. That's the premise. First eight moves, one black, one white, unfinished corners, make them all finished. Uh, George, did I miss anything? That's all clear. And, and then the plan is to, to play out a handful of moves from this position, presumably. A uh, handful, not handful, don't know about that. Uh, but now Black has to ask, what's the biggest area? Where where do I now play? So let's look at that. Uh, and we'll go through various options and see why they fit or don't fit. Now, we know in our new AI world that almost any opening is going to be fine. But this exercise is based on what's the next biggest area. Not one that you have to play, but one that's naturally next. Okay, so let's imagine black plays here. Um, stabilizing, that's ordinary. Can't develop the right very well. So it's an ordinary move, nothing special. Let's look at this one. Corner ordinary nothing nothing we're not working with anything else we're looking at what can we work with okay let's imagine um this one yeah quite ordinary black could play this okay i'm developing the bottom but it's not sente it's not particularly special it's the only one that stands out for black so if black was going to choose one for himself, it would be here. But we need to check white. So as white, is there something black should stop white from doing? Uh, well, let's take a look. Holy cow. That top area is getting outrageous. We're not saying game over, but we're saying this is special. Ah. Black to play. Black had nothing special. He wants to do something to stop that. All of a sudden, this move has special meaning. We're stopping White from doing a fantastic thing. George, am I making sense? Yeah. Okay. Definitely. So, uh, likely, so let's look at some other ways to stop White. Uh, pinch. Okay. No problem. What about this guy? Why well, didn't get anything special? 
It's like, oh, white gods, you know, that's not even points. And it's in Gote, and it's not particularly big. And I guess white so could have pressed. I would say that, white could have, instead of playing K18, K16, pressed it to. Uh, to play uh, another type of move, yeah. And but still, um, indeed, yeah, it's looking good, except it's not, again, it's a little more special. But black dot, you know, sente and whites, it's still not even cash. So we might say that this halts it better. And it is one reason why this is such a famous move. Uh, like Shusaku said, as long as go is played, this will be a good move. <laughs> um, and it's all because this, uh, you know, this is a pretty powerful move. Okay, so between the two, this might be might be a little better. Now we need to check: is there something else white can do that's even better? You know, we always check our options here. No, pretty ordinary. Pretty ordinary. Ooh, I'll stabilize my group. I mean, there's nothing special here, right? So it certainly looks like white's top area for black or white. That's the most special area. So black would do something to deal with that. Lots of things to do. Uh, and then we have the next question. Okay, now what do you do? And we start the game that way. Now, I mentioned to George earlier that um, I used this exercise for probably 10 years before I finally had a student say, well, let's continue the game. Let's make it a whole game. So we did that for quite a while, and it turns out it's a perfectly valid game all the way to end game. It makes a very interesting, balanced game. Uh, so it's a really powerful exercise, but difficult. One of the benefits is we now have four Josekis to learn. Next, next time we try it, four Josekis to learn. I mean, this is a way to learn Joseki, let me tell you, because it's every game. And sometimes this is the one you need. This is the one that fits. Sometimes this is the one that fits. Sometimes this is the one that fits. And you have to decide which one fits. Now I need to learn that Joseki. So that's one of the ways that it's very powerful. George, you think I missed anything? No, I don't think so. Okay. So with all that in mind, George, if you don't mind, let's do one. Sure. Um, why isn't there a... There it is. Resume play. Okay, your move. This can be played in any order. I can play upper right. I can play anywhere I want. And it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Um, no I'm just thinking about um, C3. I presume that's also considered to be a, an approach. Yep. Uh -huh. C3 is total just like we see it all the time. Hmm. And at this point, are you already thinking about? Uh, I suggest no. No okay. strategy at this point. We're laying out okay. the first eight moves are just, dare I say, random. Sure. No four fours, no three threes, since they finish in one. Four different Josekis. <laughs> and George, I'm going to give you control. Because part of this exercise, you have to show why do you think one area is now bigger than another? Okay. I guess one way to look at it is to try to find special um, um, special characteristics of diff different Josekis, right? So uh -huh. one, the, one of the first things that comes to mind is this press by white. Um, uh -huh. So play it out. And let's see if it turns yeah. into something special. Well, I guess I should look from Black's perspective first, perhaps. Yeah, let's do Black. So, um, here, so 
yeah, I guess the right is not especially big. I would say, I'm not sure if I'm correct in saying this, but but neither white or black is has a stone in the, um, on the right-hand side, if that makes sense. Um, right. They're both kind of in the corner. Play this out and make it as special as you can, because this is where you have to use your imagination. Is this special or not? So we're going to have white defend. That's kind of the premise, normal stuff. How do you make the right side as special as you can? Pinch white. Yeah. Interesting. This is a little more special than one might have thought. Hmm. Okay. So we log that in. There's something to do here. Interesting, yeah. fun. Yeah. None of this is game winning. It's just a direction that pleases us. Okay. Yeah. So the right and, side appears to be possible. But I guess if we go this way, then white has this press, which makes the right small. Uh, yeah. Right. That's less appealing. Um, there's this kind of move, but that gives us the white, outside. Exactly. Yeah. We can't get that. it. Right. Yeah. Um, there's this move to take the corner. Ordinary. Yeah. Ordinary. Um, there's a pinch, say this kind of pinch. Um, We're seeing something on the left. Yeah. Mm, kind of narrow. Yes. The right so side I guess looks better. If, if, if this stone was instead one closer here, then it would be more valuable, presumably, because it's a wider area. Yeah, taking control here to show. Now, all of a sudden, this Joseki, let's play that out. Oh, okay, looking, looking pleasant. So we had a little something on the right. I think we have a little something on the left. I wouldn't say either one looked grand, but at least interesting. But with it being one further away, it's like really less powerful, less wide. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Back to you. So that pretty much covers all the black possibilities. Yeah. Although I guess we could this kind of move. Oh, it's quite. The bottom immediately starts looking nice. Play that out a little bit. Um, How does white settle? Well, what are you really sure? Um, I mean, th this kind of thing comes to mind, but that might be a very bad push. Um, yeah, and maybe put that on the third line. Do that again, but end white on the third line, which is the stable area. Uh, here, yeah. you mean? Okay. Right. So, white stabilizing. But then yeah. black can now do something like the old Q6 or anything there. That could, th so far of the three, this looks, oh, uh, no, do the lean. Yeah. So, we're building the bottom. Yeah. yeah. Of all the three we've seen that look good for black, this one's the one that would scare me the most if I'm white. Like, wow, that could get big fast. Okay. And we have found a move. Big in the corner. Develops an area we really like to develop. Ooh, nice. I, I that one missed. I missed that one. This this push, is that reasonable for whites? I guess so, well, right? Let's look at the alternative, which is just play the third line extension. One further. You need some space here. And, and and that's because presumably of this, this would make white over concentrated. Yeah. Um sure, let's answer that question while we're here. When I see this white group, that's I don't even mm -hmm. see any eyes. I mean it's just so tiny. So uh we need to be more flexible and you know switch directions or something. Yeah, yeah. Uh okay, so if we're here. It sure feels like Sente. I mean, that's, yeah, it's, this is a strong move. 
So which of those do we prefer? I think for S white, I'd want to press one to stop black's powerful turn. Now, this is one reason we tend not to see D5. Because it's like black has the corner, what do we do? Well, if it's our move, there's something for us to do. You know, we can, we can press it. Oh, great. Okay, so we're here. And we looked at, so far, A looks great. So now look from White's perspective. Now, viewers, you can see how long this takes. Looking at all the corners, trying out different Josekis, which what builds something exciting, really working with your stones. And now you have to do it for White because we might find something that if we don't stop it, it's better than Black A. So we need to see the whole board, not just our stones. Have it. There you go. Should be yours. Um, okay. So now, from White's perspective, so we have this this flatten down here, and this looks um, relatively promising for White. Except, it's not an attack on Black. So it's not sent a, and Black can simply walk in casually. Now, if okay. black was one closer, then this would be sente. So yeah. you get profit on the left or the or the top. Okay. But since it's not an attack, black simply lives there casually. So I'm going. I'm going to say no. Okay. And and this might be a reasonable follow up. That's it. Three options for health can't hurt me. Yeah. That's yeah. True. Very easy for black. It didn't work out. Sure looks good, but okay. Go okay. And again, if black okay. was one closer, it would be sente. That's a big difference. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, there's this kind of move, but again, that doesn't have much effect on the black stone. Right. And Go we would just pinch yeah, anything. Here. Yeah. Um, actually, because of um, because of white being stronger here, I think it's perhaps better to to pinch a bit looser. This kind of pitch. Oh, I don't know about that. Okay. Um, okay. So, what about some kind of pins here? Pinch that here. means we're building the left, not very wide. Nothing special yeah. to say the left is interesting. Sure. Uh, this this kind of move, but Black already has a stone at P four. Oh, but it's sente. And then we True. get the pinch. True. True. That looks starting to look good. Okay. Play it out. And then pinch that incente. Yeah, we're talking something special here. <laughs> yeah, nice. Now, I think what black was building on the bottom looks better than this, but they're the same idea, they're both the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all of a sudden, we're, we're starting to think this bottom area's got a lot to it. Black loves it, white loves it. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't look any further personally. You can't yeah. find something better than white loves it a lot, black loves it a lot. Yeah. The only thing you'd find else is in another area, black likes it a lot, white likes it similar. So just play the first one. Yeah, that would be it for nice. me. Cool. Okay, so viewers, you've seen the premise. Eight stones, unfinished corners, one white, one black. Then how do you find the next move and it's a bit painstaking well what what about this what about that it's all these things now a strong player as we're talking seconds this is an extremely complex opening right I, no one has ever seen this board before that's not entirely true but a strong player is going to solve it in moments because he's so familiar with with look, uh, you know, looking at A and B and how they work together, it doesn't take that long. However, it so anyway, it's an exercise difficult. So let's uh, 
So George, should we next do it again or should we follow this premise through a little bit on this game? I think let's, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Okay. Take control. Resume play. You can do this in any order. I can't play C16 because that would be the same. And the first eight moves, no strategy, just random four different corners is all we're looking for. I can't play C3. Can I play C4? No. Uh, can I play C5? Yes. Okay, here we are. That means I give you control and you show so us how to okay. work it out. Sure. Okay, so black to play. First thing that comes to mind is this. It needs to and respond. assuming my response. And then we have quite something uh, on the right. For example, I don't know if this makes Not any sense. Second. You're giving white the whole corner. P4. Okay. Yeah, that, that's not just Okay. Okay. Um, so you don't really have a way. Does that develop yeah. the right? I guess it does. Play it out a little bit. Uh, white white uh, R5 is the most basic Giuseppe. Um, can we, I guess, or perhaps S6? Let's, let's make this an uh, actual Giuseppe. Um, at least I thought it was. Yeah. This is not. Why is, oh, because I'm used to this being at Q3, not R3. That's why. Okay. Yeah. So based on that, I think your move is a little better. Okay. So the right, good. Facing the center, really quite good. Yeah. Very nice. I'm. Um, can I have control? Yeah. Yeah. So from this position, I'm unsure of whether to say or whether to know how good this is for black. Because on one hand, the right is relatively small, but the right being smaller means that it's easier for black to turn into cash. It's yeah. tricky for white to come in. So I, I don't quite know how to see this. Right. And it's a very hard question, and I'm sure if we brought in a bunch of professional nine dons, they'd they'd spend some time going, okay, here's how to see it. Great, but for us, the right plus that black center area, as we look at that, does this make us happy? Yeah. It's like, how much do I have to pay? How about 10 bucks? I give you 10 bucks, I get this opening. Very good, it makes me feel, oh man, my stones are all working together. I can fit my whole hand in there in the black area. That's a nice big ripe black area. And it's also so working on the center and also on the bottom, right? The bottom is also looking pretty decent for black. Bottom, center, right. This is a very nice opening. Yeah. So white would have to do something to counter that. Yeah. But then that means white owes a move on top. So white has a debt. It's all good and fine. So a good okay. opening. Yeah. Yeah. Looking good. Um, bottom right. So this is the first thing move that comes to mind, which is center against the R3 stone and is yeah. building up a nice bottom. And white doesn't really have any moves to press black down. So this looks right. good for black. Yeah. Um, now play that out a little bit. Um Giuseppe R5. Um 
Okay, yeah. Actually, for some reason, I want to uh, do it. Maybe I shouldn't want to. So that's, it actually goes a little bit further. We'll just do it real simple. Uh, and then, so this picture versus the one we just saw. Both very nice pictures. This one seems a bit more practical. The other one seemed more exciting, but less, I don't know. Let's just say it's up to style. But both are very nice openings for black. Now, one thing we see, we're noticing along the way that uh, White's A stone can be surrounded in a couple different ways. So, black, that's the problem with the 3 3. Black has control on the outside either way. So it's no wonder it stands out as beneficial. Okay, back to you. Let's see if there's any other uh, special things. It's, it's nice because I think we're already seeing why these unusual corner moves aren't played very often. Yeah. Uh, okay. I had so, uh, um, uh, forget who it was, uh, a YouTube person talk about this move uh, bottom left and why AlphaGo doesn't like it and it had to do with when we play this out white gets a certain amount black gets a certain amount but when we play this out, white's getting a little more, black's getting a little less. So that's why we really don't see this a lot is because it's immediately worse for black than if he had played 4-4. Four four. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not prepared to show all the variations and why that's true, mm -hmm. but it was shown to me quite recently, and it all made sense. I didn't memorize it. Okay, so that was me blathering and that went there and back to you so we've seen okay, so two good openings for black so bottom left i don't see this as being anything special yeah I mean, uh, hey we got the corner sure. that's nice we got the yeah. corner that's nice but pretty gosh darn ordinary um i guess also this is such an unusual relationship between the two stones that there aren't really many trosekis here right i mean right we could try to do something like this but uh sure just we could find something but so far i don't see it as special yeah um upper left yeah because because also i mean white can just come out right uh yeah it doesn't even necessarily look like center yeah could be but in either case there's not a lot there but I guess it's probably best to perhaps play it out a bit. So if white comes out, yep. black comes out. Um, and um, interesting how, how Chris often treats two stones, I mean, not in this position, but similar to this position rather uh, lightly. So yep. I wonder if we want to do the same here. But Yeah, we um, saw that recently, you mean, against Chris. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah, I struggle to really find any moves for black here. In the bottom uh, left. I guess so. something like this might be possible. Yeah. And again, there's just nothing here to develop. Yeah. Okay. Other than the bottom, which we've already looked at. And the right. So the yeah. top left. So we have this press. We can play out um, yeah, this kind of thing again, I guess. And then? And and now white can take Sente, I believe, and come back and negate and negate the top. Uh -huh. So how about top looks pretty darn exciting. True. Now, yeah. It, I mean it does kind of feel that yeah. we left a little something behind. So on the other hand, this is Sente. 
on the other hand, it kind of is going to end up in Gote. So it's a little bit exciting, but seems to have depths. Yeah. Yeah, if you actually, you know, play correctly here, then like you said, it's ends up like not much. Yeah. So what did we decide? I'm giving you control because I actually don't um, remember. I think this was appealing, right? Um, this I like. I think I preferred that than the bottom. Um, yeah, really pretty. Yeah. Yeah, I like this. Hard to say what, like what we're actually getting, but very pretty. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, I like the fact that white can't really do much against this stone, and also white's flat on the top, so we can perhaps uh -huh. press white yeah. to build something on the top. Okay, so take us back. I'll take us back. Let's play it out in an actual game as to what this would mean in practical terms. Okay, so we're saying black plays there. Uh, my response. I know it's very easy to treat the A stone lightly, and I don't like where this is going. So I'm taking a nice big ripe corner, mm. and it's your move. Which I guess perhaps shows that Q5 wasn't a good move in the first place. Uh, you can still develop the, the right. Yeah. White owes a move on top. So it's not, if we were to play this out, if we yeah. don't bring AI in, I think it's perfectly playable human level. Yeah. It just creates a very different game. Now you play on the right. It's already difficult for white over there. Hmm. Um, one move that comes to mind is, is this kind of press. Uh-huh. Um, because you see, you know, the right's getting pretty exciting for black. Yeah, yeah. Because I think quite often these days, stones such as the q5 stones uh, are treated very lightly right because i guess in a sense they're kakashi in a very loose sense we have well, stones on the outside we forced white to not only settle but take big points mm, yeah. you better not do that mm. now let's let's look th this is important so let's do one more um We did not force white to do anything great. So if we want to somehow treat something lightly here, like, oh, I'm going to treat that stone lightly. Well, we haven't let forced white to do anything grand. But here, white's getting something pretty nice. I don't know. Maybe I'm just rambling. But in, so I think everything's fine. You played. Come on. There. And I said, no way. Now, I think everything's fine. It might lead us to the conclusion that the bottom right favors white. I better nip that in the bud because I don't like the freedom white has to get points and forcing me. I don't like that. So I'm being led to the conclusion that this is a more important, more practical move. You see what I'm saying? Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This somehow seems awfully good mm -hmm. for white. Yeah. On the other hand, like we said, the right's getting big, white owes a move on top, so I don't think it game losing at all. I'm just saying this is a rather powerful move for white. So you taking it first, which is also a powerful move. So it's a um, double sente, double power move, probably best. But, you know, we're just guessing here. We're trying to get general pictures. I'm sure the nine dons are sitting around every day studying. Well, which one's bigger? Well, why? Well, but you see, but then this happens. Very deep study. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes we see Chris go off and it's like, holy cow. And he's just scratching the surface and he's going on and on about all these hidden values. Okay. 
Could you Google. perhaps, uh, if you think it's helpful, show a few variations from P3? Uh, if you think that's uh, valuable. Let's um, do, there's a few, let's, let's play the, the easier. That's the most basic Jaseki. And uh, as black, I would be interested in what here. Is this an easy move? Yeah, I'm afraid so. Let's go one further. Is that an easy move? No. Okay. Now this might be, but white's invading the smaller area, not the bigger area. So my guess is this would be the continuation. Yeah, nice. I'm also thinking how this affects um, White's Q15 move to press Black down because now I assume in that region of the board that's a much less powerful move because we're forcing Black to settle where White's strong and White's suddenly much more interested in R14 to try to attack Black. Um, um, I don't know. I'm not sure I understand, and I'm not sure I agree. I don't think the right is a very big area. White's already settled there, so I certainly wouldn't. Here, I like that because I have Sente and can start a pinch over here or something. Okay, okay. I'm much more excited about that. I also kind of like that. Let's look at it uh, this way. I'm near Black's Moyo now, right? Mm -hmm. And that can that can come into play. So to me, all of that means is this is way more valuable than this. Uh, Black also might do this first. That's a good looking black area. As white, I would be I would have to immediately calm myself down, get objective and start going, okay, don't worry, everything's fine. I have to do that to myself regularly. Calm down, don't freak out, and go play some stupid move because he's getting too much. What's the next reasonable move? And that's, self-control is way harder than go, let me tell you. <laughs> I, I okay. guess um, instead of white playing C8, could white think about playing Tanuki? Because uh, Black certainly. played like a, a somewhat submissive move, I guess, in the corner. Um, and that exchange is perhaps already a little good for White. Um, let's, th th this is a little bit important. Let's check it out. <clears throat> oh, that's submissive. Right? Um, instead of, oh, I'm growing out. No, I'm just submitting. Right. Oh, I'll, I'll just I'll just submit in my little corner. I think Black's move is aggressive. I'm attacking you, and I have me beginning the whole corner as I do it. I don't see it as submissive in the slightest. But then, uh, if you think about Tawari, it looks like the the jump out to e three. Um. Okay, so you're saying. So if we start with the C3 Tawari move, from here, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, instead of playing it E4, which would be more valuable, that we would naturally it. play here. Yeah. Well, there's certainly some truth to that. Yeah. Still, I think it's, I mean, we're taking the whole corner. Very strong. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one other thing about that. Um, There is a negative to that shape. Mm -hmm. It's a closed skirt. So there's a positive to this shape in that it's finished and super strong. Cannot be messed with. There's something extremely valuable about that kind of shape. 100% prepared. That's that's valuable. I One guess other it, thing. Please. Yeah, it can't be messed with, but it does have the downside of the shoulder hit. 
which helps white reduce the bottom? Uh, we're strong enough. We can just cut, fight, slash. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, sure. I'm not sure I agree with that. I, George is getting strong enough. I feel I start feeling really bad when I disagree with him because he's like, <laughs> he and I played a game just yesterday. It was ended up three points in my favor. And he played so well. I went over with, I'm going over it with caught train. And it's like move after move. He's hitting it perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm like, holy cow. No wonder I only was ahead by three. Okay. So you talked about, well, why can play away and play lightly? Well, part of the premise of this is we don't play some strategy where we leave debts. Rather, we play, well, we're settle our groups. And that's how we lay the framework for our ideas in the game. Yeah, white's going to play that lightly, but then white has a debt. You have succeeded. Mm -hmm. It is success on its own. Yeah. Okay. So we started a solid hour, oh, an hour ago, and we've been recording for nearly 45 minutes. Does that sound right? That sounds about right. I think. Okay, that's that's plenty long. Uh, viewers, hopefully you've seen the premise of the exercise and the potential power it has, forcing you to learn Joseki, forcing you to learn which Joseki should I choose here. I have options. Which one favors my position? That's a tremendous value if you can learn that. And then how does that how does it affect the flow of the game? So it's very powerful exercise. Uh, I hope you guys will use it. If you come up with questions, I personally hope you'll ask me comments or KGS messages or emails, whatever. I love when people leave comments and ask questions. And uh, more than one of you, when you ask the question, we get together and make a video about answering them in real time because the question you have others have it too and they're like man i wish i could get a clear answer to this well let's sit down and hash it out so valuable stuff okay viewers thanks a lot thanks, thanks. george See catch y'all later <laughs>